and you are watching my YouTube channel Learners of Civil Engineering. Guys, today uh, we will find the shrinkage limit of soil by Mercury method. Okay, the ASTM code of this experiment is ASTM D427. Now, what is shrinkage limit of soil? Shrinkage limit of soil is that uh, amount of moisture content of a soil at which further reduction of moisture from the soil sample will not cause any reduction in the volume of the soil sample. Or we can define the shrinkage limit as the shrinkage limit of soil is that amount of moisture present inside the soil sample at which the solid form of the uh, soil mixture will change to semi solid form. Now let us discuss the apparatus that will be used in this test. We will be using uh, mercury as a chemical in this particular test because mercury cannot adhere with the surfaces of any thing. We will be using this shrinkage dish, plastic plate with prongs, a metallic cup, measuring jar, and again C number 40 for taking the representative soil sample. Now let us discuss the experimental procedure. First of all, we will take the soil sample and we will try to pass it from C number 40. Anything retained on C number 40 will be discarded and anything passed from C number 40 will be used in the test. Now C number 40 pass material will be taken and it will be mixed with distilled water to make a uniform soil paste. Now you can see a uniform soil paste has been achieved. This soil paste will now be transferred to this shrinkage dish in three different layers. In that manner that in the first Step about one third of the shrinkage dish will be filled with uh, the soil paste and it will be given two doses on the surface of this table so that this soil paste will move all around the edges of the shrinkage dish properly. You can see first layer has been ready. Now I will put the material for the second layer. Now second layer has been properly constructed. Now third layer. Now you can see this shrinkage dish is properly filled with the soil paste. Now I will take a spritz which will be known as weight of shrinkage dish plus wet soil cake. Now this wet soil cake is air dried so that the color of the paste turns from dark to light. After air drying I will put the soil paste in the oven. At a temperature of 120 degrees centigrade. After 16 hours of drying, I will take the dry side cake from the oven and will take its weight. Now, after drying, the weight of dry side cake will be taken, and this will be named as MS. Now, the sugar dish will be filled with the mercury till it will froze slightly. Then it is be uh, pressed with plain glass plate firmly on its top to remove excess mercury. The mercury from the shrinkage dish is poured into a measuring jar and the volume of the shrinkage dish is calculated. This volume is regarded as the volume of the wet soil plate and I will name this as V0.
Now I will transfer the mercury from the shaker dish to a measuring jar to find its volume. I will record this volume as the volume of a wet side cake. A metallic cup filled with mercury is placed in the evaporating dish. Then, then the oven dried sulfates is placed on the surface of the mercury in the glass cup and pressed by means of glass plate with prongs. The displaced mercury being collected in the evaporating dish. The mercury so displaced by the dry soil paste is transferred to a measuring jar to find the volume of the own dried soil paste and this is named as VD. I will record this value as VD. Now putting the value of M0, MS, V0 and VD into this particular equation which is shown on the screen, I will find the value of shrinkage limit of soil.